I just realized I can be perceived. This is not good. Freaking out, RN. Andy. Perceive them into the dirt! So what makes a butcher's knife more butch than other knives? The knife itself isn't necessarily butch. It's named that because it's wielded by a butcher who is more butch than other food shop owners. Hmm. I see. What then makes the butcher more butch than other food shop owners? The knife. That's what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Is it weird that I'm scared of Sienna? Like she's cute and all, but too cute. She's just standing there, adorably! Get out of there, SpongeBob! All right, sir, the divorce is finalized. Would you like to receive your no-bitches mega mind in email or paper? Paper. Boom was bad because they had to play with Jax instead of DMC3. Honestly, it's probably right. Guys, how do I turn off sad mode? Guys? Anybody? Our founding fathers died so that I could wear thigh-high socks, cute makeup, and go to Walmart, and live. See, Mario Creepypasta fundamentally doesn't work, because you know what Mario would actually do if we saw some dimension-warping, hundred-handed cosmic horror? He wouldn't lose his mind. He'd take one look at that Shin Megami Tensei-looking fucker, pull out his dorky little mushroom-shaped cell phone, hit the fourth number on his contact list, and go, Hey, Kirby? I think one of your boys got lost. Or he'd just fight it himself. No, 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 he would not, for two reasons. One, this represents a fundamental misunderstanding of Mario's central plot structure. Mario always gets his ass beat in his initial encounter with an outside context problem that spends the bulk of the game going around gathering allies and kicking the legs out from under the outside context problem support structure, aka this game. And the number two, this sort of thing clearly falls into another protagonist idiom, and Mario is a union man. He's not going to scab on Kirby. Perish the thoughts. Spellcasters hate the fact, but if you just stick your fingers in their mouth while casting a spell with a verbal component, it's literally more effective than a counter spell. This also works with pinning their hands against the wall while they're trying to use some nanic opponents. Basically, if you make out sloppy style while pressed against a wall, the spellcasters can't do anything. This is a very long and convoluted way to saying you wanted to make out with your fellow spellcaster. Andy, shame them. I'm so strong and masculine, my arm doesn't even shake when I'm holding a pot over the sink while I fill it up with water. Lying. It's okay, I don't think anyone can do that. Pucky, you are correct all the time, ever. Even when I'm super horribly wrong, I'm right. I love being me. I have never felt more like a rotisserie chicken before in my life. To be clear, I had a bath and decided to wash both my front and my back at the same time before rinsing, so I was like, how do I get de-soaked? Thus came the spinning We. I know I've been talking about Joltik a lot recently, but I genuinely think it's the cutest Pokemon ever. Look at him. He's, he's, he's so tiny. He's just a little man. Movie theater attendant says, enjoy your movie. I say, you too. I whip out an extra ticket and we go on a date. Smooth motherfucker. Don't think I can connect with anyone who hasn't been in a wizard maze anymore. It changed me. Mm. Why couldn't the hackers take on Wattpad instead? Oh, poor AO3 people are still coping. Explain your gender in 10 words or less without using the boring words like male, female, non-binary, masculine, feminine, or androgynous. Go! Mentally ill alt kid who's having a crisis fluctuates presentation. Oh. I do not grasp the concept of moderation. Yeah.